Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Palm Mouse video. So, we're gonna check out the three out of five Signature Renegade Cynthia and Giratina, right? So, uh, uh, I have emotionally recovered a bit from the uh, uh, summoning stream, which, by the way, if you guys didn't see it, go check it out if you like watching people being in pain, right? And uh, I have definitely not financially recovered from that. So, uh, I, I guess I, got, I gotta work on the YouTube grind again. <laughs> But, uh, anyways, we're gonna check out things with Cynthia and Gertin, who is fantastic, by the way. Not only looks fantastic, also really, really good unit, right? With the new mechanic, uh, Ghost Wish, right? Obviously, Ghost Wish, you know, it's, it's like, uh, it turns, it gives you Ghost Zone, which is kind of like Terrains, but, like, this one's for Ghost Types, obviously, extra 50% damage. And, um, obviously, the, the big thing, really, really appealing part about this is she makes Ghost Type units bonkers, right? Which, you know, we'll check out, we'll definitely check out. Um, a later, but I do want to try to run her against a mass mode by herself first, see, you know, how she, um, you know, fares, because she can also do damage herself, uh, as well, right? She has a very, very powerful sync nuke, right? Her shadow ball is also not terrible. Um, and, and again, a very, very, very powerful sync nuke here as well, with, uh, smarty pants, a brain sync five. I'm just running a full sync nuke build first, right? Just to see how it is. And, uh, some sync move power ups. So, we do need to debuff the opponent's special defense, which she could do herself, but obviously, it's not very, very efficient, right? So, that's why we're bringing, uh, Al Creamy over here. Uh, obviously, she's one of the best, uh, in the game. Well, the best in the game at doing that, right? Um, at the moment, uh, the fastest, most, you know, efficiently. And plus, she's Sinnoh, so you get the extra, you know, bit for, uh, the Sinnoh fact flag there as well. And then, um, bring Sony Yapper just to max out her attack, even though Dawn could also do that, but, uh, I don't want Dawn spending turns doing that, I don't want Dawn spending turns debuffing opponent's, uh, special defenses, right, for the Sync Nuke. Uh, it is a bit of an awkward one, because it is debuffing the opponent's special defense, and then you're, like, um, your, your Sync move is physical, so, yeah, the other thing about Sonya Yapper is, uh, she could also debuff the opponent's physical defense, so, uh, it does a bit more damage, right? So, uh, full disclosure, we are on the second round of Mass Mode, right? We are doing, uh, full HP parameters. Um, not that she can't beat 2k, obviously she could crush 2k, right? But, you know, just for the first one, kind of want to see, you know, where her, uh, raw damage numbers are at, right? In-game, at least. Not that it's super useful, <laughs> but it's fun to see. Fun to see big numbers, right? Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, let's see, let's see... Mm, let's start with her trainer move. We'll do that, and then we'll get fake tears in. And it doesn't gleam. I think that's super effective against us, right? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Regardless, let's uh, get tackle in to again debuff the opponent's physical defense. Speed that a bit. Uh, yeah, it's super effective. <sighs> okay, that was slightly unfortunate. Um, oh, now we could set up ghost switch over here. Right again, the uh, basically ghost terrain, if you would like to call it that, right? And we'll get those up. Although I probably should have queued up ghost switch last, but whatever. Dazzling glim again, man. They they know they know we're weak against it. All right, let's get an extra tackle in for like what minus three uh physical defense before uh we sink. All right, uh, hopefully get a crit here would be nice. All right. Um, they're about to will o -wisp me. That's unfortunate. Let's get some move gauge salvation here going. Okay, Renegade Shadow Force. Love this ink move animation, by the way. Oh, the grass. Wow, the grass. Uh, grass. <laughs> Glass cracking sound sounds really, really good, too. I know that's a super, super weird thing to talk about, but it does. It sounds cool. It sounds cool. I like it. I like it. Okay. All right, there's the move gauge salvation, which is nice. Uh, well, that's that's a two shot over there. Uh, Ghost Wish is running out though, so there's that. We uh, gonna have to reset that in a second uh, after the Shadow Ball at least. So not not that we need it to finish them off, but uh, it's it's nice to see, right? It's nice to see. We fake tears get the minus six special defense there as well, right? Oh, we can actually get another sink off. In fact, you know what? Instead of uh, Shadow Ball, let's let's just go for the sink. Let's go for the sink over here. All right, get an extra sink off. Although no defense debuffs over here, unfortunately. All right. All right, let's get a sink in. Another sink in. Hopefully, it crits. As always. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, this thing is so cool. I love her outfit. I love everything about her, except for the fact that, you know, took me a lot of gems to get her. Ah. No, no, no crit on that one, unfortunately. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, we could try some other different stuff with her. 
All right, this time let's uh, try it out with, again, a desperately, <laughs> a unit that desperately needs Cynthia's help right over here, which is Fantina and, and Miss Magius. And you guys know how, I, I, I'm i not trying to be rude here, but how old, bad <laughs> Fantina is, right? <laughs> she's not a very, very good unit, uh, unfortunately. But with Cynthia's ghost zone, she like, she hits harder than a lot of poke fairs now, right? That's, it's crazy. On top of the fact that, you know, uh, they're both ghost types who get the theme skill there as well, but also you have the Sinnoh Flag Bear that also helps, you know, uh, Fantina over here as well. So let's try it out over here. Uh, Falconer Swallow, just because, you know, we, we need to buff both, um, you know, attack special attack over here, right? And uh, yeah, let's let's see how, how, how much she carries this uh, Fantina, right? Okay. Uh, all right, let's get this started indeed. Let's do this, this, this. Dance, uh, dance with me, so we only need um one of the uh, things. Things. <laughs> Dar hit all pluses. All right. Okay, there we go. Uh, get that special attack buff in there. Go swish. We're probably not gonna get too much off our sink though, because um uh because we don't have um ouch uh because we don't have the opponent's uh, special defense debuffed here, right? So, I won't expect too much from the sink. Alright, here we go. There's a pre-sync shadow ball hit for 6k damage. A pre-sync shadow ball. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. Oh, at least we dodged a little of That's nice. <laughs> and people think I hate, like, two turn moves. There's, there's value to them. It's just overall, you know, a lot of times they're just not worth using over the one turn moves. Falkner is a good example of that. Um, his actually are pretty useful sometimes. You know what? Let's use some of these. Fantina hitting four. Almost 9k after a sink. <laughs> Fantina! And by the way, they're not at very high HP, so we don't even have like Bulk Buster up there. We don't even have like the full like Bulk Buster in there. Oh my goodness. That's a super effective up. Alright. Uh, let's hit another full HP unit over here with the, uh, you know, Bulk Buster, right? There's Ghost Wish. Okay, didn't really need that, <laughs> but sure. It's Fantina almost hitting for 10k. Fantina, Fantina Miss Magius, who again? I'm not trying to be rude or whatever. You know, if you're a Fantina, she was not good. She was not good at all before this, and now she's just slapping people left and right. One sink, and you're hitting for like 10k, 14k on a. What? That's not even a sync nuke build. That's not even sync nuke. That's just a regular, regular shadow ball spamming build. And she's hitting for that much. That's the value of Cynthia. Like, yeah, she's like herself. She's not, you know, she she's not, you know, sinks who lose mean or whatever. They're just handing out, you know, millions of millions of damage every single turn, right? Three million damage every single turn. She's not doing that. But for a, for a lot of these ghost type teammates, she gives her so much help. She does again. Reminds me a lot of um, more more than. Uh, uh, she reminds me more of like Groudon Kyogre than something like a, you know, Sing Sing Lose Man. Um, obviously, her, you know, there, there are definitely differences between uh, her and Groudon Kyogre, but still, like, she's like really, 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 really good for helping these units out. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's let's do another one where where we uh, run a support EX and, uh, you know, we're not nuking the synthesis, just running a support EX and then we could run like uh, just a uh, DPS, uh, you know, Shadow Ball. Oh, I forgot to switch to the Grizz. That's why the Sync was doing that much damage. Oh, well. <laughs> so we're going to go like full um, DPS Shadow Ball over here, right? I was supposed to switch to this grid <laughs> for the last one, uh, but it was okay. That, that was even more impressive. <laughs> like the Sync actually did the, you know, you saw the damage even without the, the because you saw the, the Tech innate, right? So anyways, DPS Shadow Ball with a support EX. So we're not syncing with Cynthia. We're just syncing with the support. And um, and DPSing with uh, Fantina, so the damage is going to be even even better, right? Afterwards, okay. Let's uh, get these in first. Okay. Um, let's see. Shadow Ball here. Um, Dancing Fever here again. Just got a special attack in. Only well, we need two of those. All right. We'll uh, we'll get our Ghost Switch in later. Uh, we'll really need an MP refresh on that. 
There we go, max that out. And then we'll sync with Kiawe to get the Sporty X in. Alright. X special attack here, good stuff, good stuff. Speed buffs, love it. And here we go. Shadow Ball from a Sporty X buffed uh, Fantina. <laughs> with Ghost Wish, Ghost Zone here. Right, again, Fantina. Not trying to be rude. <laughs> Not that great of 12k damage from Fantina! 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 This is not any this is not even any Lily yet. This is not Alistair. This is Fantina! Fantina! We're talking about Fantina here! 5k on ominous win, because I was out of gauges. <laughs> this is unreal. This is unreal. This is unreal. <laughs> this is crazy. Fantina heading for 12k in 2021. At the end of 2021, but still 2021, right? <laughs> this is insanity. There's no way. <laughs> Fantina! Fantina! This is how- this is why she's good. I see people underrating her, like, a lot. I saw someone say something like, Oh no, Sing Sue Leaf's better because, you know, Sing Sue Leaf could, like, AoE, debuff, whatever. No! What?! <laughs> Are you kidding me?! Fantina hitting for 14k! If, if your unit could get Fantina to hit 14k, that's a good unit. That's a very, 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 very good unit. Uh, anyways, um, well that's for the showcase. We'll, we'll check out her sync pair story if she has one, right? And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll check out more versions because there's so many, so many really, really nice ghost teams that I do want to run. Obviously, her with Annie Lily's going to be busted, right? Uh, her with Celine, low key, you know, really nice. Well, Alistair for a, you know, non limited unit, they're going to be really good. Mewtwo, there's so many great units that she buffs. So uh, make sure I'll tune in that. Let's uh, check out the sync pair story then. All right, all right, calm down a bit. <laughs> Let's check out the, uh, the day with Sing Sue Cynthia. <laughs> I'm going to EX her as well, so uh, stay tuned for that one as well. It's so many. Oh, this game, I love this game. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love Cynthia too. Alright, Post uh, went to the ruins to join Cynthia for some field work. Okay. Thank you. I, I, I love. I, I, I Suddenly, I love field work now. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. I hope it's not too much of a bother. I tend to notice things when you're around, so I figured I'd invite you. Oh, that's very nice. Now I wonder what region and era these runes are based on. Dude, I, outside of just her being like a badass, very, very cool trainer, her design looks pretty, all that stuff, I like that she likes, you know, doing field work, archaeology, all this stuff. It's cool. It's very cool, okay? <laughs> Sorry if that surprised you. That was quite sudden, wasn't it? This is my partner, Giratina. Yogo, uh, Giratina is actually from a different world. One on the reverse side of ours. It's able to move freely uh, between our world and the other world. But sometimes it even surprises me because it pops out of nowhere. I'm sure it means no harm though. You know, I've actually been to the world Garretina is from. Time didn't flow and space wasn't stable. So I guess this is what? This is the Platinum Cynthia here. Um, it was a world where the rules are broken. It was a space uh, one might call the Distortion World. There are few existing theories as to why Garatina was in a world like that. According to one, Garatina was banished to another world for its violence. However, as I kept examining myths and reference materials from different angles, I started to uncover the truth. I think Garatina is actually a kind soul watching over our world and shadows to protect us. Alright, weird way of showing it. Well, can't take uh, people at uh, you know face value, right? Oh, I guess Garatina went back to its world. Okay, <laughs> so he, he just goes between our worlds as he pleases, even though I guess he's technically a sync pair with Cynthia now. Maybe it just dropped in to say hello to you, Pose. Oh, well, I'm, well, thank you very much. You could have said hello to me earlier when, you know, when we were doing our summons, but you know, what, <laughs> what can we do? Oh, I'm actually okay with it. Even when we're, uh, we're worlds apart, we're always together in spirit. I know that Garatina will always be there for me. I'm sure it's even watching over us now as we speak. Right. Okay, that's enough of a break. Shall we get back to work? I certainly can't leave here empty-handed. Giratina would have a good laugh at me. <laughs> well, um, that was nice. I don't know. I like Giratina. I love Altered Form Giratina, by the way. I know, I know, Origin Four is more popular one, but I like Altered Form. It looks cool. I like the big 
<laughs> I got a bulky and chunky it is. <laughs> Anyways, that's for this one. Hope you all enjoyed it, guys. Think in the comments down below. Like, show this video, subscribe to my channel for some more Pokemon Masters content. A lot more Pokemon Masters content coming out. A lot of great, great things. So many fun team comps we're going to run. This is going to be great. I love this game. Things are going well, except for my wallet, but you know, that, that aside, I'll, I'll have to grind the, the, the YouTube videos out. So um, have fun, folks. I love you guys. See you guys in the next one.